that are currently in play today in Oshawa. The Impala, the Cadillac, and of course the shuttle to build the Silver Island and the Seattle pickup trucks. So there's a solution as we buy ourselves some time to find a much permanent solution for the facilities. There was also an acknowledgement that the running of the existing programs, frankly, wouldn't hurt General Motors' bottom line. It may not be profitable, but certainly wouldn't cause them any sort of deep economic harm. So the choice today was about whether or not we found a solution in the short term to buy us time for a much longer term solution. General Motors acknowledged today the importance of the Canadian market. General Motors acknowledged today <coughs> that Canadian consumers, of course, are furious. I'm convinced that General Motors didn't expect the backlash that they are facing from Canadians. But faced with all of the facts that uh, things have unfolded over the last six weeks since the announcement, in my opinion, they haven't reached far enough or deep enough to find a solution. So as we are here today, General Motors is holding firm with their decision that will have Canadians building less than 200,000 GM vehicles a year while expecting Canadians to continue to buy over 300,000 GM vehicles. GM acknowledged today that in Mexico, Mexican consumers buy about 240,000 GM vehicles. It's clear a reduction of 6.5% of sales of Mexican consumers of GM vehicles in the last year. But also acknowledge that the longer term plan will have Mexicans building about a million GM vehicles. So we appeal to General Motors. We talk to General Motors about what makes sense. This is an important market. What you're doing doesn't make any sense. And though there was an understanding of the importance of the market and the incredible contribution of our members in Oshawa, they weren't reaching for the solution which is at hand. So we argue today with General Motors that the door cannot only swing one way. We argue with General Motors that as you have made strategic decisions to move our products from Canada to Mexico, you certainly, certainly can reverse those decisions and bring a vehicle back to Canada. General Motors acknowledged, and we all know, that they are launching this Chevy Blazer. 
And the blazer is a vehicle that we could have built, of course, in Oshawa. But the decision, of course, was to launch that product in Mexico. So as much as we argue that it can't just be about the $2 an hour that they pay their workers, employees in Mexico, it can't just be about the profit. The simple reality is if you want to talk about corporate greed, Mary Barra's salary of $22 million American a year is more compensation that they will pay every one of their employees in the Ramos Assembly plant. So this is about greed, it's about corporate greed, and it's about a lack of an acknowledgement about the role of not only Canadian workers, by the way, but their our American counterparts of the success that General Motors is enjoying today. We raised the simple fact that General Motors has made $6 million in the first nine months of 2018. And the 2018 market is one of the best markets in the history of the industry. And there was a clear acknowledgement today that 2019 will be comparable. So it's not as if we're facing a declining market. So the question and the challenge that we raise today with General Motors is that if we cannot maintain our assembly plant in Oshawa, which is acknowledged by General Motors as one of the best plants they have globally, at a time when the market is at its best, how can we expect General Motors to stay in Canada at a time when the market declines? So this is the reality that we're dealing with today, but I'm here and I'm saying to each and every one of you, we are not accepting the closure of our Oshawa facilities under any circumstance. General Motors has acknowledged the pushback from Canadians. They recognize that Canadians are furious and are upset with the fact that when GM needed us the most, we gave them $11 billion. Canadians also understand that Mexico, as a government, gave General Motors nothing at a time when they needed us the most. So Canadians are furious today, and frankly, so am I, and so is the leadership team that met General Motors today. And I'm here saying, and I'm saying at the General Motors, and you better listen, because we are not acknowledging the closure of our Oshawa plant. We are not going to allow you to make a decision that's going to negatively impact and destroy our community of Oshawa. Because Canadians understand it's not only about our jobs in Oshawa, it's about us as a nation. You can't take that money out of Ontario, out of Canada, without it negatively impacting everyone. And the citizens of Ontario and in Canada have to understand, when you start to take that type of money, that taxpayer's money, out of the economy, it affects our kids' education. It affects our parents as it relates to health care, long-term care facilities, infrastructure spending. You can't take that type of money out of the Canadian economy without affecting all of us. So, can I, so GM today, by reconfirming their decision, has not only picked a fight, frankly, with Unifor, but they have picked a fight with all of Canada. <laughs> Questions, but before I open it up to questions for the meeting.